He was a good pig. Loyal. I mean, he did try to kill me one time, but I'm willing to overlook that and just focus on the good times. Because he was my friend. And I'm gonna miss him. Rest in peace, little buddy. All right, what's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Farmer Glock. It is the morning of day 16. And the first thing I want to do is spend these skill points that we have. So I'm going to go into Boomstick level 1. Then Sexual Tyrannosaurus level 2. And I'd like to go Gunslinger level 2, but we have to go into Agility again first. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, now in terms of this base, I think I know what was wrong and why the zombies weren't jumping in the pit and going for the ladder. We only made two changes since the last Horde night. One of them was this rooftop, which I don't believe played a part in the zombie pad thing, and the other was this bridge, which is a direct path to me. And I think that was the problem. I mean, it's not a direct path because I knocked that ladder out over there, but the zombies definitely saw that as a way to get to me. And because the ladder was knocked out, I think they got frustrated and just started beating on the barn. So I'm going to knock three blocks out on this bridge so it's no longer a pathway to get to me. And we'll see if that makes a difference. All right, there you go. Now, the only way to know if this is going to work is to bring on another horde, which that's not going to happen until day 20, so we're just going to have to be patient. In the meantime, though, I am going to consider other base options, fallback options, backup plans, things like that, and probably start working on those in the event knocking out the bridge doesn't do shit and that base is still a failure. Anyway, right now we're going to get this treasure chest, and that is to the northwest, and maybe we'll explore the northwest here, see if there's possibly another town up this way. If not, then we'll just come back to our town, do some looting, and uh, that'll probably be it for the day. We got a main road here that is wrapping around and leading towards the treasure chest, so that's a good sign. Usually main roads lead to towns. Relax, chicken. I'm not stopping for you. I'm stopping for this flesh right here. And to kill Kenny. Let's search this car and take it apart since it's a full car. Maybe we'll get a battery or an engine out of it. Scrap the nails and a level 3 hammer. Take that. We already have a level 3, but we can sell that for a decent amount of coin. There's also a pile of rotten flesh over here that we can scoop up. Hey, look at that. Engine and a battery. Oh, let's see if we can get this bird's attention. Get some more rotten flesh, and hey, here's another full car. Take this one apart, too. Here we go. And dead. Too easy. Oh, we got another battery there. No engine that time, but that's okay. Level 6 battery. Here's the treasure, but here's yet another full car and some more rotten flesh. Let's grab the flesh, take apart this car, we'll go grab the treasure, and things will be looking good. And I can already see a town in the distance here, which is beautiful. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. Oh, that's beautiful as well. What a day this is shaping up to be, huh? Let's take care of the zombie before we take this car apart. Bitch! Uh, fucking knuckles suck so bad. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah, we're gonna get the spiked knuckles and we'll put some more points in the brawler and it'll be cool, but it, they still suck ass. <laughs> uh, give me back my sledgehammer. Here we go. Not the best terrain for digging up a treasure. I hate when it's all like this, you know, because you never know how many blocks you have to dig down to get to the treasure. Usually it's only two, but... With, uh, when it's terrain like this, sometimes it's three. You just, it's hard to tell. Let's get this tree out of the way. Oh, this coyote, it keeps howling and shit. 
All right, it's walking away now, so I'm going to let it be. I'm not going to be the aggressor here. I respect nature. Unless nature tries to kill me first, then fuck nature. There we go. Oh, see? This thing keeps making noise. Hey, you little shit, I got a gun. Don't try anything stupid. Is he coming? Oh, yeah, I knew it. See? I knew this guy was going to try and start some shit. That's my jersey sense. You know, Spider-Man's got a spidey sense and shit. My jersey sense can tell when something's about to jump off. All right, fuck off, meat. Now, we got four lockpicks. Let's see if we can put them to good use here. Not bad, only broke one. Okay. Good amount of coins, some ammo, and uh, leather chest armor, which isn't too great, but I'll hold on to it. Probably just sell it. Uh, let's head into town, then. And see what's going on. Sports bag. Can't pass this up. Hey, miso soup. I'll eat it. Why wouldn't I eat soup that I found in a bloody bag... In the middle of the road. I'm a survivor. Might as well check this trash, too. Hey, four lockpicks. Alrighty, looks like we got a barn up ahead. That's no good. We can't be having competitors out here. The, the rules of the farmer are exactly the same rules as the Highlander. There can be only one. Hey, bird. The birds don't even get me mad anymore. Not in this series. When you're on the hunt for rotten flesh and it just comes to you, you don't even have to search for it. That's a win. All right, time to take out the competition. Or at least steal their crops anyway. Looks like we got another one in town. Let's go deal with them after I check this backpack. I can't resist the backpack in the middle of the road. Hey, water, fine. I'll have a drink. Let's put some stuff into the mini bike here. Ah, you little bastard. Attacking me when I'm in the middle of doing something. He took advantage of the situation. I respect that. Wait until your enemy is at their most vulnerable, and then you attack. You see, everything in the world can teach us something. Even the vultures. Uh, let's grab a bit of oil shale, because I have a chem station that I crafted in the workbench. Still haven't put that thing down. We will do it tonight. And since we're going to be putting down the chem station tonight, we might as well have some oil shale that we can turn into gasoline. I'll give you one guess whose crops these are. That's right. They're mine. Look at what we have here. More of my crops. Oh, damn. Whole bunch of corn over there, too. I just didn't realize how many crops I had in this town. Ah, it's coming right for us. Fuck off, meat. I never had snake meat. My dad did, in Vietnam. Matter of fact, the only reptile I ever ate was a frog. Actually, wait, frogs aren't reptiles. They're amphibians. Close enough, though, right? And I know it's a fucking cliche, but... They tasted like chicken. Really salty chicken. They were okay, but I'm not like, you know, out at a restaurant like, hey, do you have frog legs back in the kitchen? You know, I, I ate them once, and that was it. Here's the dumping lung. We could snatch some main loot out of there real quick if we want. Just kind of want to check out the rest of the POIs in this town. That's a cool-looking house. We could uh, raid either one of these houses if we want. Oh, look at this. Trader Rick. Oh, another bird. More flesh. And there's more on the floor, too. Come here, you fucker. Bitch.
Very nice. A second trader that is also close by to our home. That's going to make things a bit easier moving forward. Nothing in there I want. Let's loot this place before we go see Rick. All right, that's it for in here. I don't think there's anything upstairs. Let's just go see Rick. What up, Rick? Long time no see. Um, I don't really have anything to sell you. Let's see what you have. Rocket frags, AP762. No food worth buying. We're good on food. I don't think we got to really worry about it anymore. I will take this dart trap, though. Yeah, let's do it. I'll buy these darts also. Um, I want... Four trigger plates? Yeah, that should be good enough. I'm gonna buy this generator bank, too. Gunpowder. Uh, a couple of motorcycles. We have to craft a motorcycle still. Probably get that done tonight. 762. And then, uh, let's see what we got in the stash here. More 762. And then the only other ammo he had was the AP ammo. I guess we can buy it. What the hell? 9mm uh, AP ammo. I think that's it. Yeah. Well, let's buy it. Or as much of it as we can. Can't buy it all. 150? No? Come on. Oh, there we go. 125. I'll take it. I thank you. I'm also going to take girl. whatever you have in this safe right here. You cool with that, Rick? Yeah, I thought you would be. Sweet. Hey, level two side by side with some ammo and other stuff. And I guess I can't reach his bookshelf. All right, then. See you later, Rick. A lot of farmers in this town, which is a good thing. Just means more crops for us. Hey, it's every man for himself in the farmer business. Slow down, lady. We got a monkey over here, too. All right, let's get back to taking what's mine. Because like I said, every man for himself. And since I'm the only man left in this world, everything's mine. Makes sense to me. You know what? Let's grab the main stash here real quick. Ah, screw these zombies. Let's get up this ladder. Hey, big boy. Let's knock this ladder out so they can't follow us. Empty can. So long, lady. Piece of plastic. I'm good. Let's just grab this main stash here. And then maybe, you know what? We'll head back to Rick's and take a job. See if he's got something, uh, you know, real close by in this town. Get that done, and then we'll head home. I know we don't have much room in inventory, but I think I can make some space. Sandwiches. I'm good on those things. More 762. A bunch of decent stuff right there. Some more health supplies. Um, I know we're a little overloaded here, but I think we can handle doing a job for Rick. It's got to be a clear zombies or a fetch quest, though. I don't want to do uh, buried supplies. We already dug up a chest today. They try to trap you here at the girls' club. Hi, Candy. Oh, shit. I don't have enough coin. Well, let's go to Rick's anyway. We'll sell them some of this shit we have, make sure we make at least a hundred coin. We'll buy that eye candy, we'll get a job done for Rick, and we'll be done. Uh, buried supplies are close, but, um... Oh, here we go, fetch quest, less than a hundred meters away. That's gotta be, like, right 
next door. There it is. It's behind Rick's place. All right, well, let's go grab this eye candy first. Here we are. This POI with the slide. I remember this place. All right, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. I eat the rest of this corn. That'll make some room. And then we'll just uh, make room as we need it. We'll just... We'll just get the supplies, then go for the main stash, and we'll be done. Hey, Kenny. Damn, lady. Slow the hell down. Look like my wife running for the door when the Amazon packages arrive. We got another one all pissed off. Damn. Can't hit shit. I'm a little sloppy right now. I was just playing a ton of Battlefield, so... My feel for the game is a little off. Battlefield, however, was uh, pretty damn fun, I gotta say. I know there's a lot of glitches and uh, a lot of fucked up things going on. It's a beta. But the game is dropping soon. Some people are saying it should be pushed back, but I don't think it should be. Release the fucking game. Let more people play it. The more people play it, the easier it is for them to fix bugs and put out patches that fix things. I don't know if that's true. That's just my logic. Could be completely wrong, but either way, I say fuck it. Just release the game. And speaking of Battlefield, yes, I was recording all of the footage while I was playing, so I will be putting together a Battlefield video for this channel, which probably will come out tomorrow. We'll see. I'm going to try and get it out as soon as possible. It's kind of a shit show. I'm not the best at that game. It's not going to be like me just wrecking people. It's going to be more of me getting wrecked by people, but it still should be pretty funny and enjoyable to watch. Footwear. Uh, arrow recovery. Recover 20% more arrows. Find more lead in loot. Here are the supplies. Boom, job's done. Let's continue up to the attic here, though. Grab the main stash. Go see Rick. Head on home. Oh, I know what's going on here. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. You're an asshole. Why would you try and fool me twice if you already fooled me once, you know? It's like, fuck you. Nice. Scrap the bolts. And uh, now I'll put the painkiller away, take the gold. Actually, let's take the painkiller. Might as well. Um, we got some armor, so let's put this mod on the armor for now. And uh, there's some stuff we can get rid of. The fat, we're never going to wind up using. These electrical parts, does it really matter? No. Alright, let's go. What do you got for me, Rick? It must be my water oh, there you go. 200 rounds and 9 millimeter. Our armor-piercing magnum ammo. Definitely going with the 9 millimeter, and that's going to be it for today. Home sweet home. We got to get a lot of repair work done here to the base and to the barn. Do some more upgrading. Put in more of the floor, so we'll do a lot of that work tomorrow. I'm going to do some work down in the mine tonight to get more stone, which we can make more cobblestone with and more concrete with. And then... Uh, like I was saying earlier, I'll put some more thought into what kind of fallback base or second base we can make in the event knocking out those pieces of the bridge 
don't make this base work like it used to work. You know what I mean? Because if we can get the base to work the way it used to work, then I don't really think we need a fallback base. I think that pit base can really take us far. But again, I don't want to put all my eggs in that basket. Ten more farm plots, that's good. Get some more farming done tonight, plant some more crops. Now, I do have acid, right? Yep. I don't see coal. Shit, we're gonna need coal to craft the tires for the motorcycle. Alright, well, I'm gonna go through our inventory this evening and see... Uh, or make sure that I have all of the materials that I need for the motorcycle. Right off the bat, I can tell you we're going to need coal. But if that's all we're going to need, not a big deal. We can go grab it. I'm just going to put this here for now. Yeah, we can always move it if we need to. I know it, that's, that's going to be a problem there because the ladder is right there. I'll either knock out the ladder or find a better place for the chem station. Let's go ahead and get some gasoline crafting. And like I said, if... If the, uh, if the coal is the only thing that we need to get the motorcycle crafted, then uh, I'll, I'll go out tonight and grab some. Because I'm pretty sure there's, a, there's an ore of coal, um, like right in our backyard, not far from here at all. So, uh, that's what I'll do tonight, and hopefully we'll have a motorcycle in the next episode. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Farmer Glock and more Lockdown. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.